Welcome to Lancer Central, our last episode for spring 2022. It's been a remarkable year for Longwood Athletics and spring sports are no different. The trend continues as the spring seasons come to a close or inch closer to tournament time. But first, we'll kick things off as we always do with our top three plays. And at three, we have softball against North Carolina A&T. That's Alexis Whalen with the throwdown and Jacobson with the tag. Ending the inning right there. Caught the runner cheating just a little bit too far. Number two, same teams, different day. Transfer Anderson at the plate. And she squeaks a line drive between the third base and the Aggie player. One scores. Bastique is coming around, sliding and scoring for the two-run RBI double from Anderson. And at number one, we got women's lax action for you. That's junior Harper Melton with the ball, and she places it perfectly on the top shelf right by the Radford goalie. That was Melton's only goal in the 13-8 victory over Radford. The men's golf season wrapped up yesterday, and they look ahead to postseason play. That will begin April 20th and end April 23rd with one as the Big South champion. And Lancer Baseball, led by first-year head coach Chad Oxidine, has recorded one of its best conference starts in program history. Over the weekend, the team took the series over High Point going 2-1, putting them second in the Big South. The team was projected to come in last in the preseason poll and now sit at 7-2 in the conference right behind Campbell. And our softball team is also sitting at second in the Big South right now after sweeping its third conference series in a row. The Lancers are on an 11-game win streak in the Big South, recording its last loss in the conference almost a month ago. Looking a little different than they did last year at this time, the Lancer Central crew has more from the team on what the success has meant to them so far, being just one month away from conference tournament. Obviously, with the lulls, like we've had our ups and downs, and we've had to try and work through that. So I think mostly just getting our focus in the right point, and uh, and we've got a pretty good winning streak going right now. So I think right now we're just locked in, and that's helping us. Last year, obviously, we struggled with hitting a little bit, um, and I think we're doing a really good job of making those adjustments, like in game this year. Because I mean, even this year we started off kind of. We had like a lull in the middle, but now I think we're getting our hits going and we're doing really well. I mean, everybody loves a great pitcher. So, you know, she definitely anchors a lot of areas for our program, uh, but she has a lot of good support around her. So pitchers are only as good as the other nine around them and uh, she's got some pretty good allies. So it's a, it's a good combo for both sides. This program has a storied history um, this is what Longwood softball is. Uh, they want to be the top in the conference. They want to pursue top 25 in the nation. So it's, uh, it's actually quite the privilege to be a part of. And it's all coming together at the right time. Longwood prepares for the current 2-3 matchup in the Big South, taking on Presbyterian in a three-game series that will take place this Friday and Saturday, April 15th and 16th, right here in Farmville. And that'll do it for us here today. Don't forget to follow Longwood Athletics on social media at Longwood Lancers. And as always, I'm Emily McNamara. Thanks for joining us all semester long here on Lancer Central. Have a great rest of your week, and go Lancers!